G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. I'm going to talk about the different hovering techniques you see from native bees and explain what they are. What you see in front of you is a little esky with, as you can see, a bit of hose. Now, what I've done here is I've done a brood lift, a method of propagation. Not many people do, and I'll have to do a video on that for you. But more importantly, this hive should give you a nice indication of the different methods of hovering that you see so that you can um, know what your bees are doing. We're talking about three main hovering techniques. One for foragers when they first leave the hive, one for uh, the garbage bees so they know how to get back to the hive, and one for the guard bees, how they orientate themselves. So we'll get started and see what we can record. The great thing about the brood lift method is this hive starts from scratch so we should pick up this activity really easy. Okay, the first method is foragers. Foragers will exit the hive the first time and back away real slow. This backing away is so they get to orientate themselves to where the hive is, the angle of the sun, all the key signposts, and they will back away very slowly for many, many meters, 10, 15 meters. And they only do it once. They just back away and they sort of imprint their environment. Here's one coming out now, hopefully. If I don't capture him, we'll try to capture one down the line. As you can see, there he is, out, and he just backs away. So you've seen what the forager does. And here's another one coming out. They back away. See how he he's facing the hive? He backs away. And that's what they do. They fly away in stages up to 20 minutes. They just do this once and they lock it in. And there's another one backing away. And there's one last one coming out. See, it's backwards. It's always backwards. Backwards and out. Backwards, 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 right out. Soaking in all the environment so they know how to get home, no matter what the time of the day. The third type. This hovering at the front of the entrance. And they sometimes dart out and come back again. But they always hover at the front of the entrance. This is a garbage bee about to take up duties. Now finally, this hovering behavior. Hang on, I'll get that bit more steadier. This is where you see bees either just hover outside the entrance or like this one's doing they dart away and come back they only go out a few meters and come back again and they just hover at the front so what is happening here this one as you can see disappears goes out for about five to six meters comes back he's just hovering at the entrance Another example, just hovering at the entrance. And what these are, are garbage bees. And when you see this hovering, think of what garbage bees do. All they do is fly straight out a few meters, dump rubbish and fly back in again. So what do they have to remember? 
all they've got to remember is what does the entrance look like? They don't have to worry about the sun or the back of the hive or anything else. All they have to worry about is I'm going out, dumping rubbish, coming back in again. If they can do that, that's all they need to do. So that hovering behaviour is garbage bees about to take up duty. The third thing you see is a more darting approach. It's not so much hovering as a garbage bee does, because all a garbage bee has to do is hover. This is where the hive is, duck out, come back in. Long as they know where the hive is, they can go back in again. They don't memorize anything more than that. A guard bee's got to be able to recognize the hive from all different angles if it attacks something, say, a pest or you and me and it will dart around the hive looking at all the hive from a hundred different angles and memorize that so if it has to dart out it knows how to get back and here's an example of that now if you look here you're going to see a bee that's sort of flying at the entrance but not actually going in he's hovering around the front but he's all over the place that is a guard bee you can see him he's at the bottom he comes in he has a look he flies away he lands on the corner just there he's scoping out the area getting used to the terrain in fact there's two doing it at the moment but you've got to look very carefully to see him I've got to pan back a bit to show you that. They fly around the hive. See, you can see him, he goes under the hive. He's going to the side of the hive. Look, he got caught in a little spider web just then. That's perfect. He's scoping out the area, trying to work out where home is if he attacks, because he doesn't know what direction he'll attack. That is typical behavior of a guard bee about to take up duty. You can see it, it's a darting motion, it's all over the place. He's scoping out what's going on. Looking at the entrance just to make sure he knows where that is. And hopefully another example to see. Another bee flying around. Not quite sure where home is, it looks like, but he's not. He's scoping out what the environment is if he has to attack someone so he's flying around the hive 